Hello. Happy Tuesday. You are on the unnecessary. Don't you say it like that. I was being welcoming. Hello. Welcome to Unnecessary Roughness YouTube. Hopefully you're live in the chat. If you are live in the chat, like that video. I like the damn thing. Share, subscribe, turn Idiot. on your alerts. Fucking asshole. We have a really fun show for you. Hope you enjoy. Like. Now. You need to grow up. Yeah, I, I'm fine. You need to grow up. Um, I am grown. I don't make fun of people for their personal choices. You do. No, I'm not making fun of you for your personal choice. I think that you should grow up. Is the beard coming back? Yeah. Yes. It was a mistake to shave the beard. Yeah, because everyone... I understand. I just admitted it. You don't have to continue. I, okay. I understand there was a mistake to shave the beard. Okay. There was a kid yesterday uh -oh. <laughs> that has worked here six days, uh -oh. maybe he, a week. He mocked you? Yep. Looked at me dead in the eye and said, you shouldn't have shaved the beard. It hid your double chin. <gasps> He's worked here six days. Who is he? One of those bearded boys that Pete hired for the production. Oh, that kid's out of his mind. He Jason. To retail. Jason's his name. He, ju he, he just, just walked in here telling people his honest opinions. He just told you you had a double chin. That's not very so nice. You, you, you got to cover up that fat chin. That's really mean. Speaking of fat chins, we're going to have Big T on the show today. Oh, that was mean, too. <laughs> we are. But, I mean, it's time. We haven't it's had time. a delusional Tennessee. We haven't had a delusional Tennessee. Tennessee fan all year, so we, we got to do it. Um, in fact, I'm ready to get to it. Yeah, let's just start a podcast. Let's just quit dicking around and do it. Let's quit dicking I'm around and do of, it. I'm tired of just... You know, dicking around, pussyfooting around this thing. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, let's do it. But we keep talking. Well, Katie's a graduate now. Oh, congratulations, Thank Katie. Thank you. Yay. Wasn't she always a graduate? She yeah. Just no, well, it. she walked. She's officially a graduate. Well, not even walked. I technically just sat in Keenan for an hour and a half. You didn't walk? No, because it was a. It wasn't department. It was like whole. You just sat there. Yep. And listened to a boring speech. Well, um, Roy Williams was our commencement speaker. Yeah, that's cool. He cried, and then we all. Wait like, a minute. Did, he didn't make his players go to class. Why did? Why did he? Mm -hmm. Why did he make? Why did he? It's a really good there? point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who do you have Wait. your commencement? Huh? Who do you have your commencement? I have no oh, right. idea. You yeah. didn't go. I went. Were you allowed? Were you supposed to go? Were you allowed to, to go? Just relax. There we go. I, you know what? I honestly have no fucking clue who my commencement speech was. Yeah, case in point. I will remember that it was, it was I know. It, it was General S. Patton. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do you know that? He's, 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 he's a, a joke. He's a joke. He He'll take, listen. Oh. You give us. <laughs> Here we go. You can give me. You can give me. Decades and decades worth of West Point graduates. Decades. And I might. I might win a little skirmish. But you give me three Texas Aggies, I'll win a war. I'll take over the universe. I'll dominate. There's nothing you can do about it. I just need a couple Texas Aggies. You just need Zach Calzada to smack Next his stop, nuts Earth. on Nick Saban's face. Like if aliens show up, you might want a military, right? Not me. Give me, hey, this is give so me a handful old. of Texas Aggies. This is so Aggies. old. Just start handful the fight. Handful of nut grabbing. Stop Aggies. it. What? This is supposed to be my week. Why are you guys no, being you mean? Had your day. No, you're no, no, no. This is my week because I can tell you something right now. If your team beats Alabama this week, this weekend, you're going to talk about it for decades to come. And well, I'm not. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. And 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 you know what? I'm proud that they're not number one. So you can't talk about them well, being number one. Well, let me ask you this. Hmm. Let me ask you this, hmm. Casey. Hmm. Hmm. My team beat your team last I know, week. Did I, know I talk that. about it all week? No. Well, that's because you didn't think A&M was any good. I still didn't talk about it. I, got, I have bragging rights over you. Yeah, but beating Alabama, you know you'll talk about. You were talking about it already on Saturday night. I wouldn't rule it out. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't rule it out. I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying it you is my rule week. It out. It's not going to happen because you've already. What like, if you didn't rule it out? You ever think about that? You've already talked into existence. He, on Saturday night, Katie, he said, how is Alabama going to rebound from losing two straight weeks? That's yeah. not what I said at all. I can imagine it is. All right, let's go. Hi, welcome to Unnecessary Roughness. Barstool's. You feel better after having. Well, I normally that? have the box that I can go, but I we just have cans. <laughs> College football show brought to you by High Noon Hard Seltzer. Mmm, boy, High Noon, delicious, real juice, real vodka for real folks like me and you. Jack and I were enjoying some nice cold high noons on Saturday night's podcast. Really, oh, I was room right. temperature because I forgot to put it in the fridge, but it was just as good. 
It's always good. Well, if, if, it's, if you can drink it at room temperature and it still is good, that means you know it's a fantastic it would, it would Actually, you know what? It would be better if it was in the fridge, but that was my fault. But it was still good, still good. room temperature. Oh, yeah. No, I, I saw Jack drinking one, and I had a little bit of uh, white wine on the plane on the way home from Blacksburg. And I said, I think I'm going to join Jack with a high noon. So I did a celebratory high noon. Mm-hmm. Couple and of you them. deserved it. Thank what you. with your team's big win over Alabama? After they won a hundred straight looks like Haynes, Haynes King's out for the season, huh? So it's Calzada or bust. I mean, after that game, you kind of have. Seems to. like he's the guy, though. You kind of have to. I yeah, mean, you can't. It. You can't. You can't remove him as the starting quarterback Before after what happened. Before we get into everything, and we're going to talk about the most uh, disappointing team so far. We're halfway through the season. You know, we're I don't want to talk in. about it. What? I don't like that it's going so fast. Okay, fine. We're not really. The, we're kind of at the halfway point. Like there's some bye weeks in there, but we're. We're going through week seven. What are there? Fourteen well, weeks we in the season. Have, Thirteen weeks. Well, yeah, we still right. have all of November and all of December. Fifteen, because sometimes there's regular season yeah. games during the yeah. championship weekends. But with the majority of the teams playing six games so far, you can call this kind of the halfway point. Yep, that's fine. Um, so we'll talk about disappointments. We'll talk about surprise teams. Uh, all of that. The best game of the year so far. We're gonna have the return. Oh, well, we already know yours. So this well, no, I, but I'm reading your. T- I mean, I'm going off right. of your text message. You're sent. The coach you, of the year, the Heisman, so yes. far. Yeah. Um, we're also gonna have uh, the return of delusional Tennessee fans. We'll have him in here shortly, um, and we'll. Well, ah, shit. We'll get to a bunch of stuff. I have. I don't have my right sheet. I can't find my sheet. There it is. <laughs> he, he, uh, are I, those hey, listening? I, I color coded. He flipped one sheet one in sheet. his notebook. He couldn't find it. All it took was one, one turn sheet. of a paper. There it was. Are you salty today? No. You seem nope. salty today. No, no, he's just pointing out a fact. I think he's salty today. I'm not salty Are today. Are you salty today? I, I wouldn't just say I'm... Just because I said s- Megan Fox isn't all that attractive? Well, here's the thing. I don't like her right now because she's, she's messing up Machine Gun Kelly's image right now, but I don't have to. we don't have to get into that. Um, I wouldn't say I'm salty. I'm on one, but I can't figure out why. I, I can guess last night. Oh, I can guess too. Yeah, last night you were kind of in like a little Twitter spat. Oh, I did do that. But Kelly Keegs just who then. Was who was that girl? Some girl. She, it, it's so, like, it's so funny I mean, to me. I would me. probably be on her side. No, no, no. So, yeah, but it's like the same joke that everybody's been making for like four or five years. Just like, oh, Casey, you're from Texas. Oh, no shit. I didn't realize that. I like Boston. And I've written blogs about why I love Boston so much. It's when the when these people play the hits from Reddit and think it's going to actually insult me, which she did. She was like, oh, take a billion seats, sweetie. And I'm like, yeah, you want to work here. I take a seat here every day. If you want to come visit me, you can. It's just like, at least be creative. Like, I could give no shits if you think that it's lame that I root for Boston. We, I don't care. We do so have security now, so I don't think she could. Come. No, she can't. But that's like, it's like she so wants likes from these guys because she's playing the things that people on Reddit say. And it's like, if you're going to chirp me and troll me, at least be good at it. I am so tired of people gatekeeping fandom. You know, yeah, we, like, see yeah. this gives a shit. we see this with people talking about her. Listen, let people like who they like. Let, yep. Let them like, You've never done that. Let them like as many teams as they want to like. Let them oh. let, let people like who they want to like. Even if it's the, multiple teams in a sport. It doesn't matter. Or it's a just player. I, you could have different reasons. It's I know, not, it's I know he's, my I, business. I know he's being sarcastic right now because of the Joey Molinaro stuff. No. But I, I will say this. Who? Can I say this? And I've said this before. I do think it's different with professional teams and college teams. I don't. I, I do. I, you choose to go to a college. one team in a sport. Okay, well then I then I choose the Boston teams and everyone can like I don't understand why it fucking matters who I root for. I don't care who you root for. I've yeah. never made fun of you for root for but Boston. I, but teams. I'm okay if you do. Like when I first started working here, I was like kind of like yeah, I guess it is kind of weird. But like I don't care about professional sports in Texas because I grew up only loving A and M. So this girl, I'm not even give her the clout of using her name. Like her chirping me and she thought she dunked on me. She did not. She was hot though. It is weird when it's the same city. I agree with that. She was hot, though. Um, I, I do agree with that. But it's like when people – like, uh, if now if the Red Sox play the Astros in the next round, people there's going to be Astros fans that are like, you're from Texas. You should be rooting for the Texas team. Astros fan. Well, no. But I'm like, that's like saying the Mets fans should root for the Yankees. That just doesn't happen. The, the Astros and the Rangers might not be in the same city, but they're still in the same state. Like, I'm not going to root for Texas to win the fucking national championship. Okay. Um, so so we're box gonna, over. I have a couple more takes. Uh, we'll do some takes. We'll do the midseason surprise, disappointment, best game, Heisman, coach. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, – Should we get Big T in here? Should I already text him? Uh, Katie, if you want to step out and get him, I guess. I, I don't know. Where is he going to sit? Katie. Sit in Katie's seat for, for just so, – He's so not going to stay in here long. Here, okay, so while I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit more on the screen. Oh, damn. What a shot that was. Casey, 
I rarely say this or do this, but I think in this case it's very warranted. We went to uh, Virginia Tech over the weekend. We did, yes. And uh, I must say, I was looking like a snack. You were looking like a snack. I was looking like a big old drink of water. And I will say, you felt really comfortable too because yeah. we were, I was hugging you. I was in a in a very my, platonic friendly way. Well, just not to people on the on the train or the plane tarmac i wanted them to think anyway uh i was wearing my peter millar i was wearing my you mississippi were. state peter millar it looked amazing it looked good it was my my quarter zip i look like a i look like a just a dad who knows what's going on but not even just a, a dad a stylish dad jack and i did a peter millar instagram mm -hmm. ad the other day and i was like literally laying on my a&m peter millar because it was it's so comfortable uh i love it because it's not only stylish but it's like it's actually something that you want to wear it's not like oh this is stylish but you know beauty's pain no it's actually comfortable yeah, it's fantastic. And listen, I think they have something like over 150 colleges that are represented with the Peter Millar uh, collection. So you can get quarter zips, polos. Season. You can get everything. I love a quarter. I'm wearing a quarter zip now. It's a barstool one, but I love quarter zips. And Peter Millar has the best in the absolute business. Um, I, I didn't know what to wear. Like Saturday I woke up, and I never know what to wear on our shows. I really don't. And I, I saw it's the, always a gamble for I saw me the too. QZ laying there, and I'm like, we're going to Virginia Tech. They kind of wear maroon too, so I threw my maroon. I just felt good, looked good. It was awesome. I can tell you right now, I have no idea what I wore on Saturday. I have no idea what you wore on Saturday. I have no clue. Not even a – It was an oversized barstool sweatshirt hoodie. Sorry, crew neck. Wow. Well, That's which a, one was it? I think white with the black. It the same oh, it's right. an unnecessary. That's right. Yeah, you it, was unnecessary. A, it was the unnecessary roughness one. I was wrong. I was yeah, the unnecessary right. that we throw out. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Did people buy the unnecessary stuff? We didn't really push it. Uh, that wasn't the question. We're doing an ad. Peter Millar okay. Peter is Millar. the best. The best. PeterMillar.com slash roughness. You get free shipping and a complimentary gift with your order, Brandon. We love we love a gift. Love we a love, good gift. Especially a free one. Yeah. Free shipping. And like you said, they have- And um, it's complimentary, so they tell you something nice about yourself. Yeah. Well, because you'll look good in Peter Millar. Mm -hmm. So whether you want the golf apparel, whether you want what comfortable, it's it's going to get cold, you're going to be tailgating, go to PeterMillar.com slash roughness. Um, I, so I have a question. Game plan like, before he comes in here. What is the game plan with him? Are you just going to like wound him up, wind just him up and let him go? Me. I know. Yeah. I'm going to trust you. There's like a few words you have to say in it. Right. Okay. You just have okay. to kind He's already right. wound up. Let me tell you. Well, he, just, he, I just asked him how delusional he was and he said he's not delusional at all. You ever take a dog to a dog park? Yes. You don't have to teach a dog how to play. That's true. You, you just let him go. You just put the dog you in the You take the leash off. And let him go. And, okay. and then right. and, and right. that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring him in. Yeah. We're going to put him in the, in the dog park. We're going to take the leash off. Yeah. And he's going to run around. He's going to be happy. And then we'll eventually put the leash back. Oh, on. he came in hot too. Oh, he came in hot. No idea why he had this computer. I don't know that he's gonna. I was. Um, he doesn't want anyone to steal it. Hi, Big T. Hey, Big T. Good afternoon, Casey. Good afternoon, Brandon. Haven't what was shit. haven't talked to you in a long time. Yeah, Thank we're happy to years. have you back. I appreciate that. I'm happy to be here. It's good to see you, man. So how's uh? Good to see you too. How's everything going with Tennessee football? They're going pretty swimmingly right now. I guess we'll find out Saturday. Swimmingly, huh? Yeah. It's a nice use of swimming. Lane. You guys are playing Ole Miss. Ole Miss is three-point yep. favorites. That's yep. a low number. Are we it thinking is. upset? Well, Missouri was a three-point favorite, right? And that was 62 to 24. A lot of points these balls points, are scoring. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 97 in the last two games. That's a lot of points. You, you are, are you keeping up? You, are you yeah, and well, I mean 62 and 45 is 97. Did you expect this offensive explosion this year? I didn't think they'd be this good. This I, good I, at being meaning what? Scoring 97 points. How good is Tennessee? Games. I think they're a pretty good team. I mean, I think you would agree. See, you're playing a character right now, but but you and I have real <laughs> conversations every once in a while. And you I, a character in this show? Never. And I think. Hey, I haven't said anything yet. I've just asked hey, questions. Yeah, I, the way you're holding the mic, the whole deal. If <laughs> if you were being honest with yourself, you you would agree that if Hendon Hooker starts against Pittsburgh, Tennessee wins that game by by two possessions. That's I don't think that's that's relatively debatable. I really don't. Where did that come up? Who good? Well, well, uh, well, I said that to say that if that happens, we're five and one right now, ranked probably about where Ole Miss is. In Hendon the Hooker 15. starts the season. Do you win ten games this year? No. Nine. No, probably eight. May well. Wait a minute. If you're five and one right now with him. I assume you think you're going to beat Ole Miss. That would be six and one. You Miss. would lose to well, but then our next three are tough as hell. Georgia, probably not going to beat them. Kentucky, I know you think you're going to beat Kentucky. I know you think you're going to beat. Don't you bullshit me. I know I can see in your eyes. Here's you think the deal. a little listen, twinkle in your listen, eye. Listen, There's the a twinkle in your eye. Season, at the beginning of the season, I said we had to go 
two and two against Missouri, South Carolina, Kentucky, You're two and, and Ole Miss. You're two and zero. Now I think we need to go three and one in those games. So I, I, I honestly don't care which one of them we win, but we have to win what one if of you, Ole Miss or Kentucky. What if you went four and zero though? Well, I mean that'd be awesome, but I mean, my grandma had wheels; she'd be a bike. So we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I've never heard that. So before. if. Tennessee, Kentucky, who wins that game? I think Kentucky is a little full of their own shit right now. Mm. Now, okay, all right. Finish this sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, am I holding the mic okay? Go for it. I, if you're listening to this and not watching it, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Josh Heupel wins the SEC East within the next blank years. Josh Heupel wins the SEC East within the next blank years. Please fill in that blank. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was on this show. Um, you said Jeremy Pruitt was going to be a, a no, very good no, no, coach. No, 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 no. This was after we hired Heupel. Okay. That and, is true. He did come on after And that. I said that I didn't think he was capable of doing anything close he, to he that. Also, he right. did say that, yes. I think <laughs> it's entirely possible. Mm that at some point in the next five years, Tennessee could win the SEC East. Five? Just five? I mean, that that's a long time in college football. Well, I mean, Georgia's five years the best ago, team in the country Five right years ago. Florida's still better than Five us. years ago is two coaches ago for you. Five yeah, years ago, no, you guys been, thought you were good. Well, we – we had the best roster in the country five years ago. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That's not a no. It is not a fact. fact. <laughs> Go look at. Let's go. Okay, hang on. This is why he brought his computer. This is why he brought his computer. You finished eight and four. This is why he brought his computer. Let's go look you at the finished eight and four. You knew let's go he look brought the computer for a reason. You knew it. You knew it. You knew he brought the computer for a reason. And let's see how many NFL players were on that roster because I forget there's so many. I forget. Tennessee had the best roster in the country. All right. So Josh Dobbs, NFL quarterback. Josh Dobbs, NFL quarterback. He's a backup. Alvin Kamara, one of the best running backs Great player. in the NFL. This you didn't even use. John yeah, Kelly, a NFL running back. Josh Malone, John, NFL wait, wide who's receiver. Who's John Kelly running the ball for right now? Cleveland Browns is on the practice squad. He's doing a great job. That's not job. an NFL running back. He's played in regular season games. Preston Williams, NFL wide receiver. Jason Kroom, NFL None tight None of end. these guys matter. Malcolm the Johnson playing very well for the New England Patriots. Now we get to the defense. LaTroy Lewis played in the NFL. Kyle Phillips is played in the NFL. No, 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 Shai no. Tuttle starting Anybody in the NFL. Anybody can say this. Jalen reeves Maben is starting in the Practice NFL. Squad. Rashawn Golden is starting in the NFL. Emmanuel Mosley starting in the NFL. Cam Sutton is starting in the NFL. Trevor Daniel played in the NFL. And Derek Barnett is starting in the NFL. That's one, two, Derek three, Barnett's four, one of the worst players five, in the league. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 NFL players on that roster. When we when assume, number nine Tennessee players, played number one Alabama that year we lost 42 to 10 if you flip those coaching staffs we win that game like 35 to 20 by the way um <laughs> you are high when we're we looking at 2016 college football team talent composite on 24 7 sports which is that based off of I you you let me finish let him finish Tennessee ranks 14th in that team team talent composite which Who's is first? based off of That's Alabama players was. coming out of high yeah. school y yeah so, like, Josh Dobbs out of high school was not very highly recruited. Alabama 2016, Jalen Hurts, Damian Harris, Bo Scarborough, Josh Jacobs, uh, Calvin Ridley, uh, Trayvon Diggs. You ever heard of these guys? O.J. <laughs> Howard. We were better. You were not better. We were. No. You went 8-4. and four. Raekwon Davis. Uh, I mean, you got well, Yeah, but we all Deron agreed that Payne. they shouldn't have gone 8-4. and four. They should have gone 11-1. and one. If you had the best roster in the country, why, why the one? They had a dog shit head coach. They were undisciplined. They they played very poorly once they like kind of lost the the Alabama game fucked everything up. But the A and M game that we should have won seven turnovers. You lose in triple overtime. Like mm -hmm. that was a good game. Double overtime. Okay, fine. Double but that's game. over. That's over. That's over. That's can I, can that, I, that's I, too disappointing. Hold on, I got it. Me and him are locked in it right now. No, I, I, I just I want to give him one. Me and compliment. him. This is my show. You don't I grammar wanna, correct me on my show. Oh, I can leave. Well, you can't don't grammar leave. correct me don't. on my show. Make him make, make him know that he can't grammar correct me on my I'm show. not going to do that. I think that you should be an auctioneer on the side because the way that you just spoke that quickly and so smoothly, it was very intriguing. Okay. Is oh, it see how slow his voice is? Out. He can't be an auctioneer. Howdy, did you hear how fast he read that shit? All right. Um, I just did the, some just quick research. Oh. 2016, as he said, Tennessee's volunteers had 16 NFL players on their roster. Mm. Alabama had 30. 30. That's twice as many. That's fine. 
That's that not fine. It. You can't claim the best roster in the country and and just say, and just say that's fine to facts. How many did Ohio State have that year? At least ninety. I'll I'll do it real quick. Yeah. Let how many of those <laughs> it's ninety the whole roster? So every one of those guys was playing at UT. I would like to know how many of those were. Alvin Kamara was barely playing at UT. Bush, that's the that's, one player that you guys fucked up more than anybody. Bush Jones fucked up more than anybody. literally one of the best running backs in the NFL, and you didn't yeah. give him a chance. Uh, well, that's not entirely true. I mean, he did have how. Uh, uh, Whatever. This is about Josh Heupel in the future. Yeah. Ohio State had 18 players in the NFL on their roster that year. When are when when is Thank Tennessee you, getting back in the national championship picture? That's my question. The national championship picture. Yeah. I mean, it'll take a second, but. Well, Give you it. thought last year, Jeremy Pruitt, when when he had the number one class in May, you thought it was uh, just a matter of time. It still is just a matter of time. There has never been a program in the history of college football with the resources, fan support, and his, history and tradition that Tennessee has had that has ever, like, stopped being good. It's never happened. Not once. So it's uh, it's possible that Tennessee will be the first, but it's never happened. USC stopped being good at times. At uh, times, and then they're good again. Nebraska stopped being good. And then they're good again. When, they're, Texas, they're not good right now. Texas Nebraska hasn't been good, good in a minute. They're in the same <laughs> boat as Tennessee where the last, like, 10 years. So, yeah, but, uh, so he, those two but here's would the be thing. the first. Both of those are similar. They're not in talent-rich states, and it's hard to come back if you're not in a talent-rich state. You have to rate other states. Can your coaches do that now? Can sure. You, also, I, I disagree with that premise that Tennessee's not a talent-rich state. There's five stars in Tennessee every year. That's where Clemson's gotten every one of their Tennessee receivers. Tennessee is not a talent-rich state, especially compared to Florida, Georgia, Louisiana. Okay, yeah, Texas. they're not the two, the three best states in the country. California. Well, California, Florida. I mean, they're, they're, it, I would say Tennessee's not a top ten uh, producer of college football talent. In, in, I think we should look into that. I think Tennessee's probably right there at ten. Jack, you're a recruiting guy. Well, where, where do you think Tennessee would rank as a, as a state, a the talent produces, state? The uh, produces high-level football players are – College or in it. Maybe you can do it by NFL. I don't know how you want to do it. but Florida, Georgia, Texas, California. Alabama's better. Ohio's better. Louisiana. New Jersey's better. New, uh, New Jersey is not better than Tennessee. New Jersey's absolutely, absolutely better. Untrue. Hell, you've got like your last two quarterbacks from New Jersey. New Jersey is Just a – one, and that New, was a mistake. In New, terms of New states G ranked by percentage of FBS signees. New Jersey's a very good – No, no, Tennessee's a better recruiting state than New Jersey. New Jersey's – sorry. Tennessee ranks 10th according to percentage – um, now, overall, FBS signees, it's a little bit lower, but it's not as big as states. So, by ratio, one in 343 um, high school football players in the state of Tennessee are uh, FBS signees. And that's in the top 10? They're 10. That's, yeah, they're do, 10. Do NFL. Okay. Because that tells me how many good players they produce, yeah. not just how many players they oh, produce. Oh, so now we're just, here's no, the no, goal no, post, I, we're taking it and we're just moving it. There's well, producing players. Well, you moved the you moved the goalpost from high school to Tennessee. how they went to played in right. college and talent, yeah. and then it wasn't. Tennessee true. also well, Tennessee what's, also what's your recruit in high school is very different than how you play in college. Tennessee also has a lot of FBS programs, therefore that state is going to get boosted for how many FBS players they produce. Yeah, hang on, uh, say that again. You got Memphis. You got Vandy. Hang on, hang on. How do you think that affects how many high school players go to play in the FBS? I feel like if a state has more FBS programs, they take in more. more New Jersey's in the top ten for NFL. NFL. Yeah, there you go. Tennessee, Tennessee is is not not even close, right? But this is by play number of players. This not isn't percentage. about me. It's about you. All right, it's about you. Okay. Thought it was your show. But we gotta we continue. gotta shake away from your delusion. You still are holding on 2016. We're not gonna be able to dive headfirst in the hypo era and enjoy all this unprecedented success. I agree. If we're focused on the number one roster in 2016 and lying I agree. to people, I agree. About we got sidetracked. That's all. You, Tennessee fans are want to live in '98. You want to live in 2016? No, it's time to live in the hypo era. I don't want to live in 2016. 2016 sucks. It's time to live in the hypo era. Does it feel like '98 yet? No. It needs to. But we're win this game and it'll feel I'm like I'm going to stock and barrel Saturday. I'm going to have a big ass burger. I love that. It's going to be that. delicious and I'm going to watch our Tennessee Vols beat the fuck out of Ole Miss. Does I, that mean they're last? Why is she here? What what is this? Where'd you get a book? Katie just brought me a book that said player development Tennessee is 66th in the 66th in the country. There's only the 50 states. The University of Tennessee. What do you mean? That's what that is. No, well, that 66 is really bad. That means like, yeah, but we're not. That's not the conversation we we're. He's talking not about saying though. the state of Tennessee. You just saying. 
Oh, that's the university. Correct. Yeah, it's right. no secret there was that a different Tennessee conversation. has been dog shit at, at developing yeah, players. That's, that's not. not yeah. Nobody was disputing that. Yeah. Uh, I just Katie just brought me the a list. The discussion was, does the state of Tennessee produce good college football players? I thought we were talking about Tennessee having the best roster in the country. No, we had moved past no. that. No. Okay. So we've just moved this argument. This Every argument has evolved. Except, even know, for, except yeah, for the Josh Heupel. What's he never this fit. for? What are we even doing? I don't listen, know. Listen. I don't know. You don't need as good of players when you have a coach that's as good as Josh Heupel who can there manipulate his scheme to do yeah. what his players mm -hmm. do best. Clearly. Hence why Hendon Hooker is a top five quarterback in the FBS in passer efficiency right now. You've got guys like Tyon Evans just running free every time they carry the ball. When you have a guy that can coach, you can take players who maybe aren't as talented as some of the opposition and make chicken soup out All of right. chicken shit. Uh, Neyland Stadium is a top blank stadium in the SEC. One. <laughs> Two, if you really want to get argumentative about it, like people say LSU, those dumbass – Cajuns and I, I, all their shit they do. Objectively speaking, I could hear an argument for three. It's not one or two. He's fifth. I just relax, but you do, don't argue yeah, with that's Katie. Not what, that's don't not argue what with Katie. Don't argue with Katie. Well, she's wrong. She's like don't argue with Katie. She's empirically uh, Why is everyone incorrect. yelling? All right, passer efficiency is fifth in the FBS. Neyland Stadium's. I'd, I'd say objectively, maybe number three. I'd give you up to number mm. three. Well, I haven't been to Kyle Field. It's probably number three. Uh, no, no, no. Four. According, you know, Katie was right. According to QBR, Hendon Hooker is 11th. Not QBR, passer well, efficiency. Well, okay, passer fine. efficiency so, so also okay, so sucks. Okay, so you guys just keep naming things that I didn't say. Yeah, I'm but sure. you had a you had a stat that wasn't good. So, yeah, I okay, could. So, okay, if, so that, ifs and buts were candy and butts, we'd all have whatever uh, you okay, said. You fucked right. that up. You fucked that up. Hendon Hooker is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. That's his point. Yes? He's playing very well. Okay. Yep. Also, newest macrodosing athlete, by the way. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Did Aaron Foster say? Mm. Yeah, y'all may be. be you may want to keep that on the DL because you may be committing some NIL. No, that's not my, it's not my money. I cancel you guys. I, I don't think. I think. I think we're we're I'm within our thinking about canceling you guys. Let's go for it. Boy, did we get off the rails here, huh? Knoxville's a top blank city in the SEC. I don't love Knoxville as a town. Wow, I love. Why Knoxville. I love I Knoxville? Um, it's we'll a be good, there this weekend. So it's, it's. Did you know that me and her are flying on a private jet to Knoxville? I, di I did. And we're yeah. gonna be on the field. We're yeah. gonna have field it's, level passes. I think passes. it's a gorgeous town. So I think it's a great place to live from like the time you're born to the time you're like 14, and then from the time you're 30 till you're dead. But 14 to 30, it's not like an you awesome know, place. That to seems live. like the most important chunk of your life. The college. Right. You don't think as a college town, it's good. I think it's fine. I think okay. it's average, but right. like, like. What's your favorite SEC town? Well, Nashville, but that doesn't, that doesn't like count. really that doesn't, count. Like, just like Austin doesn't count for a Big Twelve um, town. I mean, they're all kind of like. I don't know that I would pick one and say like, "Wow, that town's awesome." Athens. Thank you. See, I think that's. A I do think I have. I've been to Athens a bunch. Like Athens has. You know a what town sucks? Vibe to it than that nobody talks about. You know what town sucks? Nobody yeah. talks about. Mm -hmm. I do. What's that? You ever been to Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa no, sucks. I like Tuscaloosa. It sucks. I'm going to be honest. I think I like every college town I've ever you been to. You don't want to make anybody mad. No, no, it's same. not. It's not that. But every time I've gone to a college town that's not College Station where I went to school, I'm being shown the best of those college towns. Yeah. So, like, when I when I go to Ann Arbor, Dave's showing us around. When we go to Madison, okay. Dan's right. showing also, us around. The, the parts of Knoxville that are cool, like old, old City and shit, is, like, not next to campus. So. But I like sailgating. Yeah, that's but that's at Washington. And at Tennessee. Not really. And Baylor. Those three. They got like bass boats at Tennessee. <laughs> it's not like. The there are million dollar boats. Yes, out there. I've, I've seen them. Best boats in the world, right? Best everything mm -hmm. in the I world. I don't know. I've never been out there. What's the score going to be this weekend? I think Tennessee is going to win 52 to 41. Lane Kiffin's return. You want me to tell him anything? You got any messages I can tell him? No, I think I, – I, I do think that's a very interesting part of this weekend also. Like, I think if we were bad, the reception for him would be pretty welcoming. But I think that since we have a chance to, like, get in a very good win and be in the top 25, like, it's going to be piss and vinegar. Do you think he'll make a popcorn statement? I don't. Did you see what he said he told Jeff Levy when he went to the sideline? Yeah. Yeah. like, I just said something. Do you think stupid. Lane Kiffin sucks? No. I wanted do Lane Kiffin to be our coach. Do you do think you Lane Kiffin sucks? No. Would you trade 
him right now for Josh Heupel? Great that's, question, So Casey. that's actually the best question that's been asked in this little. You're welcome. Okay, well, I mean, um, don't have to say that. You just <laughs> answered the goddamn thing. Would you, if you could pick right now, Josh that's Heupel, a very Lane good Kiffin? Question. Go. Lane Kiffin, but it's pretty close. Let me tell you what we brought you here for, delusional Tennessee fan. It wasn't mm-hmm. to say Lane Kiffin's a good coach. All right. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you what I think. I don't. I'm going to be honest. He's not near as delusional as you made him out to be. He is delusional. He just told us that. He said he thinks we're going to win eight games. He just hasn't gotten into his full on delusion. No, I think yet. we're going to win seven games. I said eight if we would have beaten Pitt, which was what. You're four said. and two? Yeah. We're going to beat one of Ole Miss and Kentucky. We're going to beat South Alabama. I'm going to be honest. Somebody that says they're going to go seven and five doesn't seem Question. very delusional to me. If you think I've never been delusional, this is fake. This Question. is literally the lame stream it's my media, hand up. and this is it's what y'all do. Up. It's my hand up. If you think Josh Heupel is going to beat Lane Kiffin in Lane Kiffin's second year and Josh Heupel's first year, why the fuck do you want Lane Kiffin? I think Lane Kiffin, given a prolonged because what you're of time saying to me, recruit and and develop his Lane system, can't is going to have more sustained success. Lane Kiffin has to have his reporters lie to recruits at Ole Miss. That's a fact. That's <laughs> truth. <laughs> No, you I mean think that's Lane true. Kiffin has that's happening. Ever, has ever talked to that guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Other buddy, than in, a, buddy, in an interview setting, buddy. Uh, Ole Miss coaches have been running that guy for thirty sure, years, dude. Just like no, all I'm, the twenty-four-seven sites, when someone commits somewhere, they bump them up every time because it's all a big conspiracy. That is right. It is. Okay, do you want to get into you guys having top ten classes for every year for the last two decades and not? You doing can't have it both ways. You can't say Tennessee's roster isn't good and that Tennessee gets the I best players. Never you said to, you, you, those I never are, you said see to, how those are no, incongruous. You I see can't how those say that. Up. I can't say that because it plays into my point. My point is Tennessee gets bumped up. They get their big recruiting bump because they have so many subscribers, and then they get to campus and they fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, you know. The, you have top ten classes because you know, they're lying Heibel's to you. really concerned they're lying about to you. the subscribers that 24-7's it bringing in. He's when not they're ranking like them. Eight months Josh Heifel's not ranking them. Josh Heifel's not fucking ranking recruits. What are you talking about? That's what I – no, we're saying the same thing. Uh, we're not saying the same thing. You don't know what you're saying. You think Josh Heifel gives a fiddler's fuck what guys are ranked on 24-7 and how <laughs> many subscribers they're getting? Who the fuck cares about Josh Heifel? I'm talking about the last 10 years. You guys have been a top 10, oh top 6 recruit God. class, and you can't, and you suck. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy, bro. All right. Also, Big fantastic T, that was, phrase. That was awesome. Thanks. All right. I'll see you all later. Hey, <laughs> you need us to get anything in Knoxville? We'll be down there. I think I'm and you're a college Why don't you town? invite him? Huh? Why don't you guys invite him? Big T, you want to go? I like Stock Why don't y'all invite him? Here's what's going to happen, and I told you this. Ben Mintz is going to invite himself, and you're just going to get slid into that. I, I told Big Cat when Ben Mintz invites himself, make sure Big T goes too. That's more than fair. I appreciate I'm going to say I don't give a fiddler's fuck is my new favorite thing to say. There's a lot of yelling there. He's not delusional enough yet. Yeah, I'm telling you. What I had to do you're was going, I had to tip. I had to tap into his old delusion. We had to go into 2016. But I had to tap that, into his old delusion. That's delusional. Damn but shame. Saying he's going to, they're going seven and five is not delusional at all. I think it's even a little bit. He's being he's too being careful. Too, right. That's what I'm saying. We should probably talk about another conference for a little bit. Well, no. that's what sucks about this week. Like the SEC is the only one bringing good games this week. I mean, we got a couple good games. Eh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, State Texas, Texas, and then uh, Arizona State, Utah. Uh, Michigan State, Indiana, that's not great. Well, what, what, what the fuck is that? TCU, Oklahoma? That's that, – that's, No, is they – after Texas A&M won because of the whole golf thing that happened with Saban oh, yeah, and yeah, Jimbo, yeah. they tweeted out this graphic where they put that the 12th man had more strokes on a golf cart than Alabama, which means you they lose lost. in golf. But who really cares? It's like whatever. It's yeah, funny, that's though. that's not great. Um, the attendance, though, looks good. Yes. I'll give you that. No, I mean, I was. 107,000 people is pretty good. Oh, their schedule does kind of suck. Who? In Tennessee? It's yeah. insane. Yeah. It's their next. Uh, uh, are they already played seven games? Because you mentioned it earlier. They're with four the and two. Ole Miss recruit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you guys saw this. There's an Ole Miss reporter who has forever, forever made up recruits, made up stuff about, allegedly made up stuff about recruits. And then this four star quarterback says, uh, Says, I gave my number to a reporter today. He quoted me when I have yet to even speak to him. Not cool, Yancey Porter. Ole Miss recruits check your quotes. And then it was, it was this quote. 
the the reporter made this up it blew me away honestly i loved everything about my trip down there it was my first time to visit the state of mississippi never met so many nice people in my life their offense is tailor made for quarterback they have two of the best offensive minds in college you can tell a grown man uh, yeah a recruit did not up. did not say a recruit that. did not say that. it Recruits blew me talk. away honestly yeah, yeah. Like, they don't talk like that but that's every recruit that's ever talked to, uh, about Ole Miss has always said that that exact same quote to yancey porter listen even Ole Miss has a cultish, clannish media around it. They recruit for the school. Their every own school, college football program does. Not as bad as them. They're they're the worst. They're the absolute worst human beings. Um, and whatever. I, I don't I don't want to talk about this ass clown on my show. This is uh, the most he's ever talked show. about. On, on, yeah, but with me and him, it's my show because oh, I'm not gotcha. uh, giving him. That's fair. It's like okay, of Texas. Fine. You wouldn't talk about Kyle Umalale um, 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 for your show. Nope. Um, Rattler not celebrating. With, yeah, okay. We're going to get to all that. We're going to get to all that. Okay, okay, okay. We, yeah, we do need to talk about Spencer Rattler. Fine. We do need to talk about Spencer I have, Rattler. I have five takes that I want to rattle off, and Spencer Rattler's in there. Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay, yes, we're going to Knoxville. Okay. I feel like Big T got you off your game. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm about to okay. go right, right into all right, it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Brandon? Yes. Your wife's birthday is tomorrow. It is. Which means you got to buy her something nice. Can I borrow some money? You got to buy her something expensive. So that's going to take a little hit on your credit card. Yeah. It's never fun. I got the money. You do have the money. But you know what? A lot of people right now have been struggling these days. Yeah. You know, putting money on the credit card. You know, 2020 and 2021 have been tough. And what you don't want is high interest loans. You don't want that on your credit card. That shit stinks. Yeah, it does. It, it, debt, debt in general stinks. I would say that no one likes debt. No. In except fact, for debt collectors. I think across the board, we are all anti-debt. Anti-debt, and le- well, except for people that are owed money, I suppose. But upstart. No, help. they're anti-debt. What do you mean? They want their money. Oh, good yeah, point. Yeah, okay, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Across the board. Anti- true. true, Jack. They, yeah, they true. Want they want their away, money. Because they want. They, fact. they loaned it. I was too. Okay, I, it took me a second. You're right. You're right. Um, they're probably the most anti-debt. I would, yep. I would say that, too. You mean... I, Listen, no one likes debt. I right. th- we've, we've come to that conclusion. And Upstart right now can help you not only get rid of your debt, but that you know that dread when you look at your credit card right. statement sometimes, especially around like Christmas time. I like to ignore it. Yeah, it's not fun. It's yeah. not a fun thing to do. But Upstart can help you right now. They can put you on a path to financial freedom. Doesn't that sound beautiful? That, the way you said it did. A path sounded beautiful. to financial freedom. You need to uh, hi- get hired by Upstart just to say that all the time. Should I say it one more time? Yeah. A path to financial freedom. Why are you saying path so sexy? You're like saying path. path. Like, yo, know, gee, path. what are you doing? Path. Okay. Path. Path to financial Can I try freedom. It? Yeah, do it. They'll put you on a path to financial freedom. A path to financial freedom. I can't do it. Yeah, it works both, Casey. <laughs> So whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating your high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart right now. And rather than just looking at credit score, they consider facts like your income, your current employment, which is important, your credit history. And you can check your rate right now, Brandon, in just minutes. Yeah. Minutes. 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 Short amount of time. And they can give you loans between $1,000 and $50,000. And you can even receive those funds as fast as one business day after your loan's accepted. That's quick. That, that path to financial freedom. That's quick. You didn't say it sexy that time. Path to financial freedom. There you freedom. go. <laughs> so find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments right now when you go to upstart.com slash roughness. Again, that's upstart.com slash roughness. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. That's upstart.com slash roughness. The great quarterback collapse of 2021. How did this happen? I have the same thing. The great quarterback collapse of 2021. How did this happen? I think I know how it happened. I think we gave a lot of hype to players before they earned it, and that's what results in what's happening. Like, coming into the season, I'd say the 10 best quarterbacks – Spencer Rattler was way up there as a Heisman favorite. Just lost his job to Caleb Just Williams. Just lost his job. He fell apart. DJ Uyunglele, who is not very, has Bare, not been very good. Barely completing over 50%, three touchdowns, three interceptions. De'Eric King now out for the season, but had a bad start to the season. Was Had lost three games. De'Eric King. Shoulder injury. Sam Howell uh, lost three games. Just mm-hmm. hasn't been the same as he has been through the rest of his career. Nope. Brock Purdy at Iowa State. Who not know, very good so far this year. What the fuck happened to, what hap- happened to them? Bright, Brees Hall, what the, happened to him? The only one, Bryce Young, I think, has yep. been at or near his hype. I don't think he's been great. I mean, he's he's been okay enough, but but I think Bryce Young has has lived up to his hype at least. So C.J. Stroud 
He's Start heating up right now. And has has rebounded. Okay, so I did look at, at Bryce Young's numbers though. Obviously losing to AM is is gonna be a little bit of a knock. He still had three hundred and sixty nine yards. He's thrown twenty touchdowns and three interceptions. Yeah, he's he's been good. That's he's a, pr- good. a pretty he's fucking good season. He's lived up to his hype. He, yes. Bryce Young is um but what happened? Why why are these uh quarterbacks just falling apart? I don't I mean it really like I started writing down. I mean, as you can see, I even like color coded it with like how like if you look at that graphic that we made before the season, like our Heisman favorites, I mean it's abysmal across the board. And it's not just us, it really is everybody. I mean, you you know, we've talked about Matt Corral. Like he has he's not thrown an interception this year, so that's obviously impressive. He's thrown for twelve touchdowns, he has eight rushing touchdowns. But like no one was talking about Matt Corral other than I mean, I guess we were saying no, he's we gonna, were. We, but not to be the Heisman favorite. That's right. Fair. I I think there is a clip of Brandon out there that said that we were talking about that how said good he could in be? like in April he was like Matt Corral is a good bet to win the Heisman. I mean, hand up. He was in a lot of our top fives. Malik Willis has lived up to the hype. Um, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter's good. played very well. Twelve touchdowns, two interceptions. Um, K- the, Kenny Pickett else. looks pretty good, but they lost yes. fucking what Western Michigan. Yeah. yeah, but he looks really good. Um, that was his defensive. Like he threw for a bunch right. of touchdowns. Like he, yeah, I think he he's he did like, throw some interceptions. In that Mississippi State's women's cool. basketball coach just resigned. Who's Mississippi State's women's basketball coach just resigned? Just, oh wow! Just stopped being the yeah. coach. Yeah, did Gino. They, uh, Gino's the emails? same. UConn's had the same women's basketball coach for a very long time. Did they I, look I at understand. I understand. Hold on. I understand that. Why did you think I needed to know that? Uh, it was he's just only the most famous women's basketball coach in the world. Yeah. No. It was just a comment. It was just like a reminder to myself. How many? Uh, how many championships has he won since? Uh, uh, zero. Mississippi State beat him. Zero. We broke you. Is Kim Mulkey still at LSU? She, yeah, she just it's went her there. first year. It's not still there. Yeah, she's, she went to Baylor. She was year. at Baylor, and then she left for LSU. This is her first year? At LSU, yeah. I feel like that press she, conference happened like three no, years no, no, ago. No, she went she up to Coach final four. She played in the Final Four last year at That's Baylor. That's right, the masks. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. You're right. You're right. Um, I don't know what's happening with – okay, so – You know what you remember? What? Her being at all the LSU baseball games because of her son. That is what it is. Yeah. I can't. That felt like that was Kramer much, Robertson. much longer ago. Um, I don't know. I know yours was Sam Howell. Who yeah. was your number one quarterback going? It was into Rattler. It was Rattler. Mine was, was Rattler. Whose was yours? Sam Howell. I think so. Yeah. I mean, but that it it's was two not Rattlers, two Howells. It's not just this podcast though. It's quite literally everybody that's covered college football, and no one has an answer for why these. Oh, it's a. No, I think we do have an answer. It's just it, we it, overhype guys. It is time. It is time to stop giving hype before a guy earns it. And Rattler, Rattler kind of earned it. Like, he mm. had a good second half of the season and was mm. fine last year. Rattler had earned and it more than CJ had earned it and, and more than CJ Stroud, more than Bryce Young had earned it. we got to stop giving away hype. I, d- Rattler, Spencer Rattler absolutely earned it more than those other guys. It also, when we've said this a million times, we can all admit it, it is because he plays for Lincoln Riley, who's been a quarterback factory at OU for a while. I I don't know if we overhyped DJ to like a crazy extent after the way he played against Notre Dame last year. Well, obviously we did, or uh, he would be. Well, yes, up but to I'm it. saying going into the season, I don't think it was like, oh my God, DJ Ongalele is like not near as good as we thought. He had almost 500 yards against Notre Dame, who was in the playoff. And at the time, it was like, well, if they lose Trevor Lawrence, they're fucked. Well, this year they are, but like I don't think we overhyped DJ necessarily going into the season. Now I have no clue what's happening at Clemson. So uh, as of uh, – we'll get to Here we go. There my number four five. take in a little bit. And, and oh, it's gonna oh. Be folded. What's I, this? Okay. This is the graphic. So the your top five. five yeah. We're all going to get it here, so we might as well just go just, ahead and own say it. say it. Sam Howell, DJ yep. Ungalele, Spencer Rattler, Matt Corral, Derek King. I'm one I'm one and four. Okay. I'm Jack, one and four. Spencer Rattler, Sam Howell, Malik Willis, DJ Ungalele, Derek King. So one for four. One, one and four. four. Katie. Sam Howell, Spencer Rattler, Matt Corral, JT Daniels, DJ Ungalele. One and a half. One and three and a half? Who? JT one Daniels has been JT's hurt. A half, so you're one and three. Yeah, that's he's fair. Good, yeah, 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 like you're fair. one and three. Oh, so he's like NA. Because he's not playing? Because JT can still come and back. I think yeah. JT's played. When he was in, he was yeah, good. He's yeah. just missed the last, what, three games? Yeah, okay, I'm not counting. Mine three. is Spencer Rattler, Sam Howell, JT Daniels, Matt Corral, Deer King. So we all got one that was Matt Corral. Yeah. We all have Except Mac- for him, he didn't have no, Mac Rowley, he, he had Malik Willis. Willis. Who's? And then Katie. Who's so, good? so Katie and I have one yeah. and a half. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? I have one. You have one. And- yes, dumbass. I yeah. said we yeah, all have Mac Corral. That okay. was our one. Uh-huh. But you didn't have Mac Rowley, you had Malik Willis. Yeah. That's your one. So you you had. Why Ma- are you taking offense to that? I, I didn't take I offense. Think, honestly, I was just having a conversation. You stood up and you're like, you I, gave think me that look. I was just having a conversation on the podcast. You gave me that look. I was not offended. I was ready. I was ready. Did he give me that look? Yes, he did. He goddamn sure did give me that look. Katie and I won. So uh-huh. 
Yep. Yeah, we you have, have incomplete right now. You can't win on incomplete. If you had to, JT's I'm good. gonna tell you right now. In comparison to Sam Howell, DJ Angulele, Spencer Rattler, and Derek King, JT Daniels is better than those it's guys. It's incomplete though. It's incomplete. He, he, we're still we're one and a half. One and a half. And you have one. But so the whole country. Are you guys has really it. bragging about one and a half? No, no one should one. brag about anything right now. But you know, who, you know who we can really dunk on, even though our list sinks because those lists were they were kind of chalk, but still like within reason. Those fucking idiots that were mad at it. we didn't put Michael Penix Jr. on it. Oh, I bring it up every podcast because I still can't believe the hateful, just spiteful he tweets might have been I got. One of the worst quarterbacks of the year. We should have had Desmond Ritter on it probably. Uh, C.J. Stroud probably. No, I, I, I think disagree with Desmond Stroud Ritter. could could earn his way back. Um, I think Bryce Young is still the leader in it. Will Rogers. What? Huh? Will Rogers. He Will, said. Will Rogers. Oh God. Is Will, has Will Rogers been a top five quarterback this yes. year? Yes. No, yes, statistically, but statistically. It's, it's hard when he doesn't have stuff around him. You, you don't can't, know that he you can't lose him. to Memphis and it be. Yes, you can. He didn't lose to Memphis. Well, just like Kenny Pickett didn't lose to Western Michigan, but. No, but uh, Kenny Pickett had 400 yards and six touchdowns. He really didn't lose yeah, to Western Michigan. No, I know. Michigan. He's also completing like 75% of his passes, which is wild. Uh, Kenny Pickett is, shouldn't count because he's an NFL quarterback. He's you been know, playing for the Carolina Panthers for four years. We I, just don't know it. I'm. Oh, well, yeah, true. I'm I'm leaning towards it not – I know we're not necessarily talking about the Heisman at this very moment, but I think it might not be a quarterback year and might – Oh, of course it's not a quarterback year. We're going to get to that. Okay. It's not a quarterback year. Running back year. It's a running back year. Uh, it's a, I think it's a defense year. I but we're not going to have a defensive mm. Heisman, but I think it's a defense year. This is the year of the defense. Yeah. Yes, but I Look don't think we're going to have a defensive I mean, Heisman. Iowa doesn't have a good offense. They're on top of Michigan. Michigan. There's a bunch of teams that are just there because they're a defense. But I don't Hell, think a defensive player is going to win the Heisman. Well, they're not. They're right. not. But but this is – if 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 a non-quarterback is going to win it, this is going to be the year. I have a take. You know how a defensive player can get into the running of the Heisman? What? How? Make up a fake girlfriend mm -hmm. who died in a car accident. Okay. That seems out there. Sorry, well, I found our graphic from the top five regular season games. Both Casey and Jack have Alabama at A&M on it. Jack, high five. Well, that's not that's not out there. I mean, that was Brandon that had it too. Was, that was top five teams at the uh, top six teams at the time. That my sense. my top game is a literal dumpster fire. So I don't even want to read that list. Yours was Alabama Miami. <laughs> yeah. What was mine? Uh, Georgia Clemson. Mm. Well, I mean that. Who was yours? Uh, one Jack, Brandon, and I had Georgia Clemson. Okay. For number one. All right. Um, What's your second take? There's an endangered species out there. What? There's Mammals. An, there's an endangered species. Men. Men. It was a joke. Smart men, yeah. non-trash men. That's funny. No, no, I was laughing. Like are you two? Are you two done? <laughs> men are not extinct, or are, are, are endangered. Okay, fine. The endangered species is the backup quarterback that can win you a football game. Why? Transfer the portal. transfer portal has taken that luxury away. You look at number one team in the country, why are they still number one? Because when their quarterback went down, they had a dependable quarterback, Stetson Bennett, step up and has kept the car in the middle of the road. But And we made fun of Kirby Smart for that, by the way. When the transfer portal has become this thing, Penn State, who could be number two right now, is not. You know why? Because their backup quarterback is in Kentucky going 6-0. Mm -hmm. Penn State's backup quarterback went and got him a job. Everybody's – you're not going to have two reliable, trustworthy quarterbacks anymore. Will Levis earned some spot last year, and then he went off and he went to Kentucky. Therefore, Penn State, when, when uh, Sean Clifford went down, they were donezo. The, the backup quarterback is going to be a bigger luxury in the coming years than it has ever ever been georgia's only number one right now because they got somebody who can I, fill that void i definitely think it's going to continue to be a like, problem look at oklahoma but caleb o williams has just taken this job right and if spencer rattler doesn't stick around they don't have a backup yeah but they do have a backup now now but yeah what if what if the second caleb williams is announced a starter he pieces out i, I think he will i don't i think he's uh caleb's not gonna be officially announced until like well, Lincoln Riley's a, a, ba a big fat pussy if that's the case, because that's the starting quarterback. He gave him the day off. He's like, yeah. Can we go to that tweet? I love, uh, I love just saying he gave him the day off. Spencer Rattler absolutely did not. You don't get the day off in the middle of a season just because. Yeah, what? You're, you don't give yeah, your QB one a day off. No. He he needed a mental health day. It's yeah. okay to not be okay. It is okay to not be okay. No, can you be a decent? No, don't be a shitty human. Don't be a shitty human. Be a nice person. Um, All the people in my life, they used to ask me for. 
for Barstool merch. Now they ask me for Casey's Don't Be a Shitty Human merch. Really? Yeah. Is that selling well? Yeah. How? How? <laughs> what do you mean, how? How? how, how mm. Did your merch sell well? I've never sold anything. Oh, wrong. <laughs> I don't sell anything. You sold Razzin stuff. You've sold B90X no, stuff. He's saying None he's of that's so well. good, though. So well. That's the case in point. She's no, he was. He he, that's what I just said. Yeah, he said he's never why sold anything. Why don't people anything? understand things today? I don't know. I don't know why you're when you so started, happy. When you the two things that you make fun of that I've sold have hit merch bonuses. That's what I'm saying. I didn't make fun of it, though. You made fun of my Tom Brady thing. That's ridiculous. That's it, the worst shirt we've ever yeah. sold at Barstool Sports. But... Hey, if it, hits, if it hits merch bonuses, no, 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 no. I don't I give a, a lot fuck. of idiots out there. No, I, I will say shit. that's if all. If you bought her Tom Brady split jersey, you're mm -hmm. a fucking idiot. Well, my bank account enjoyed it. Bunch of idiots. That's why I can't <laughs> sell. I'm too smart. I'm too smart. Yes, that's, that's what it is. I don't know how to appeal to idiots. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you if you've ever or bought just, a shirt of mine. Or just delusional sports fans. Oh, yeah, I bought a shirt of yours. So, hmm. You had B90X. Yeah. I got your Worm Farm one. I gave you that. I know. Okay. <laughs> Um, question. Okay. If I give you a hundred dollars right now, mm -hmm. would you bet it? Would you bet Alabama will make the playoff? Yes. You had to bet it and you yes. have to bet on yes or no. Yes, I would. You're betting. Yes. Yes. I'm betting. No. What are the odds? Well, you said that from the beginning. I know, but I'm doubling down now. I, I think that, you know what that entails, right? They went out and they beat Georgia in the, in the SEC championship. What makes you think they can beat Georgia? I, this Alabama and listen, I I know, I know that I'm supposed to be all like, oh Alabama stinks, whatever. They just lost to my team. Why should you be like that? That's not is that what you should be at all. No, I I there's this season is so chaotic and the season is so weird and there's so many things going on that it's it would be it's too easy of an answer that Georgia goes undefeated and beats Alabama. It's just too easy to me. Now, and if you're going to tell me Georgia's going to lose to somebody in the regular season by some freak accident and then beat Alabama, maybe. I just think there's too much shit swirling in the college football atmosphere right now for Georgia to just waltz through undefeated. And I think Alabama, coming out of the game in, in College Station, Nick Saban's going to be fucking furious. He's already mad. And I just, don't, I just can't see a team going undefeated this year. Anywhere. Let Even alone. Georgia? I see Georgia. I mean, yes, obviously on paper, but this it's like this chaos that we're seeing and how weird this whole season Here's is. Here's the thing. It's too it's almost too chalk to say. I it think now. Alabama is used to being the number one team in the country. Uh and at the worst they fall to like two or three. This year I think they're the seventh or eighth best team. They have played two road games and they've looked bad twice. They lost to a, a an average A and M team with a backup quarterback. Uh I don't even know if them. And well, that, that's true. And then they almost lost to Florida, who's not fair. They're okay. They're fine. But they shouldn't. Alabama, a normal Alabama wouldn't be beating them by two points. Now, they got two more road games this week. They'll probably win in Starkville. We'll see how impressive it is. And then they got at Auburn. If they can't win at AM, I'm not 100% sure they can win at Auburn. They can beat Auburn. They've had two road. Let me say it again. They've had two road games and two road games ask, only. Okay, They've yes, been I average have, in both. Can I ask you a question, though? When you watched that AM game, how did AM beat Alabama? I mean, they kind of beat them every which way. They, right. The defense, but we knew AM's defense was good. AM's offense was finally capable of beating right. Alabama. You think Bo Nix is capable? I think if Zach Calzada can do it, Bo Nix can do it. Yeah, sure. I 100%. As a Bo Nix hater, you think that? I, I get, Zach Calzada had not shown anything so far. And right. then all of a sudden, he beat Alabama. And then, um, like running backs, you guys, Spiller was awesome, A Chain was awesome. Tank Bixby's awesome too. Yeah, like that. They're, they're Auburn. I'm not trying to talk shit about Auburn. What I'm saying is, is that I, I think just that let, I just want you to look at Alabama. Two road games, 31-29 mm -hmm. over Florida, who's okay. Yeah. Lost to A&M, who's okay, and they play at Mississippi State. And they play at Auburn, and then if they win all that, they play Georgia and Atlanta. And I know it's going to be 50-50, but whew. I would go so far to say, and I. Obviously, they're more than okay now because they just knocked off the number one team in the country. But before A and M played Alabama, I would say they were subpar, and Alabama lost to them. Yeah, no, right. So I'm like, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm using, I'm helping your argument there. But I, I, and maybe it's it's just the fact that it's Alabama and the fact that it's Nick Saban. I just at this point and in going into what week six, week seven, seven. week seven. Like, just to be like, okay, well, Georgia's, Georgia's in. Georgia's going to beat everybody. Georgia's going to win the SEC championship. It just feels too easy of a statement to make. Maybe I just need conspiracy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, by the way, 
my favorite video of the last five years oh, was the Seth Small this, video. This this girl, this w- woman watching her husband. Apparently, they're married. Kick a field goal to beat Alabama while uh, his mom is praying through it. Uh, his dad's sitting there. Everybody's nervous. And the, let's go four seven. You know, I just uh, you got it, babe. I just I, I loved everything about it. Her, and she didn't want to celebrate with the parents. No, she she, had, she she fucking watched it go through. She sat there. She got herself together and said, "All right, where is he?" And just, just she just I took mean, off. She leaped over the side of that. And like uh, again, I a lot of those stadiums have the high right. the high walls. Those walls didn't. Uh, Kyle Fielder high. I wish we had a camera of her entire journey to get to him. Because you know imagine. she had to like go through students and everything. But I bet she got there. Oh, she she was, she was bound and determined. People yeah. off, you know. She was beautiful too. Yeah, that's just I mean bonk. But I, I <laughs> just saying. I also love the low key. I I love the mom just refusing to look at the field, just praying yeah. her way through it, and just never even looked up as soon as she heard the noise of yeah. what the crowd told her she was she celebrated you, that video and I, i'm a little bit biased because it was my team but that video and then the video of the the drunk moms getting stuck in the hedges at georgia will always live in infamy to me you remember that jack who were they playing and they south like carolina. they rushed the field and they got stuck in the hedges oh wait wait no so you're talking about south carolina when they 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 tore yeah, the who bushes. Who did georgia somebody tennessee maybe was it tennessee when they had the hail mary no, no that they tennessee lost. won that game yeah I don't know. I just that video was no, so no, no. Good. It was Auburn fans getting stuck in that Auburn in the, hedges when oh. they beat Alabama. Oh yeah. Um, in the in, kick six? against no, no in 2019 with Mac Jones. Yeah, that's a great video too. Like they uh, multiple people got stuck. Um, <laughs> the Big Ten is set for an incredible six weeks of football. Unbelievable. And this week is kind of a, a wash in the Big Ten. There's not much there, but uh, starting October 30th, when you're going to have uh, Ohio State, Penn State, you're going to have Michigan, Michigan State. That sets off a chain of events where you've got undefeated Michigan, undefeated Michigan State, one loss Ohio State, uh, one loss Penn State, and they're all going to play in some form or fashion throughout mm-hmm. the month of November. And whether you believe in Michigan, Michigan State, I don't. Whether you believe in it or not, they're about to have the chance to prove it. They're about to uh, to go out and be able to get it done. Well, do we know about Sean Clifford? What's what? what, what? He had like a cryptic Instagram post yesterday, but. I, we don't know yet. No, we don't know what's happening with him. Mm-mm. No, I will. I know this is a broken record, and we've said it multiple weeks in a row. But the most interesting conference right now is the Big Ten because there is not a. When do we decide it's the best? Do we have to coming the up? The year? Coming up pretty close. I mean, if you're doing mid season, it's absolutely the Big Ten. I mean, the the fact that you cannot like we could all sit here and have completely different arguments about who we think the best team in the Big Ten is. I think every other conference you can say who you think the best team is. I don't – Georgia. I feel very, Oregon. very confident and solidly so that Ohio State's the best team in the Big, tw- but you could, Big Ten. But you could hear arguments with it. Like, you can't hear an argument in the SEC Obviously, right now. Obviously, Georgia's uh, the best right now in the SEC. I yeah. would say Oregon in the Pac-12. Maybe Arizona, Arizona State, State, but yeah. maybe the ACC, Oklahoma's I guess. Oklahoma's clearly ahead. Oklahoma is in, in, in the, the Big 12. Big 12 yeah. Yeah, Oklahoma State's undefeated. There's a list of all the big t- uh, the top 10 Big 10 matchups. It's just Okay, so October 30th. In case you missed any. Penn State, Ohio State. Also Michigan, Michigan State. November 13th, Michigan, Penn State. November 20th, Michigan State, Ohio State. November 27th, Ohio State, Michigan. Penn State, Michigan State. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be good stuff. Good Love stuff. it. So let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, do the midseason awards. You know when you're saying that, what it sounds like to me? Mincy. Mincy. Yeah, I heard that. I, you've said it multiple times. I'm like, why are you calling Mid-season it? Mid-season awards? Mid-season awards. But you keep saying it so quick, it sounds like Mincy awards. Half-season awards. Mid-season. Enunciate. Mid-season awards. There you go. You know, I just never really developed fully. Uh, no, none of us have. We work at Barstool Sports. We hadn't noticed. Damn. Why? <laughs> you know, why, Katie? You put the ball on the tee. You did. I noticed you didn't hit the ball when I put it on the tee. I would never. Thank you. Uh, he didn't take his club out of his bag. Mm-hmm. None of us are fully developed. That's why we all work together at this clown show. All right. Place. <laughs> Here we go. We're doing our su- biggest surprise team of the year. There's a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, I feel like one's kind of unanimous, though. No. 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 I, I think we could all have four different answers here. Okay. Uh, biggest, most disappointing team. The best game of the year. Okay. The Heisman Trophy winner, mm-hmm. if we were giving away right now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the coach of the year. Mm-hmm. We will start with the surprise team of the year. Actually, I said, okay. Did I say surprise team or did I say biggest surprise? You biggest said surprise surpri- team. Biggest surprise team. 
Okay. KC Smith, you get to lead us off. Go. Iowa. The Iowa Hawkeyes. The number two team Do in the you country. Want, are we just rapid firing or are we explaining it? You're explaining. Okay. Well, clearly they're the number two team in the country. We kept saying that are we buying them? I think when they when they were three and oh or like are they are we buying or selling? I think we all sold. At that yeah, point, yeah. Um, they've clearly shown that not only are they able to, to play in these big games, their defense is really good. I mean, being number two in the country going into week seven for a team like Iowa is an absolute surprise. It's still remarkable that they have absolutely earned the number two spot, and there's not a human being alive that thinks they're the second best team in the country. Mm. Except for Iowa fans. Yeah, but they're, that's okay. Yeah, they can do that. It is the biggest, like, if you, if you would have asked me in, you know, before week zero, like, okay, in mid October, where do you think Iowa would be? Not anywhere near the top ten. They certainly have the best opportunity to rise because they open with two ranked teams, um, and then we found. But I, out I assume they would lose those. We found. Games. Out, I didn't think they lose Indiana. I did think they lose Iowa State. So I thought they would open up with a split, and they would just be a northern. They'd be a nine and three Kirk Ferentz team like every single other year. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have gotten here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, have they called a break or two? Yeah, yes. yeah. They called a break against Penn State. Probably shouldn't have won that game, but they did win that game. So they have earned number two. My surprise of the year i guess i don't want to take two but i won't i'll leave one on the table i think it's michigan state mm -hmm. i thought michigan state would be one. one of the two or three worst teams in the big 10 east they mm -hmm. started over mel tucker who i didn't believe was a very good coach i had never seen anything to make me believe he was a good coach mm -mm. i didn't know he could go out and he trans he changed the whole roster 21 transfers hey, all of a sudden he's got kenneth walker they're you know running for 900 yards Michigan State is – and I like. I think they're a better team than Michigan. I like them better than Michigan this year. I think they've proven more than Michigan, and Michigan's still ranked ahead of them in every poll. But I think Michigan State is the biggest surprise of the season. I disagree with you about them being better than Michigan, but I do like the answer. Katie Stats. Uh, I also have Michigan State written down, but I will say Michigan for this. Oh. This last year we were all very confused about Jim Harbaugh still a job. We're going to write him off. I still am also on the not fully buying on Michigan, but – I think for where we were last December, very few people expected them to be 6-0 and right now. And Jack Mack. Tennessee. Now oh. that's an off, off the beaten path one because there's a couple we didn't mention yet, but go ahead. I don't know. I think it's fair, too. They're right there with Michigan State with me. I think they're a I team that's in the top 20 right now in terms of uh, – I bet them to go under six wins. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to be awful. In terms of teams that we thought were going to be – not very good, but have turned out to be top twenty teams. Not necessarily by rankings, but that is true for Michigan State. I don't know where I don't know if Tennessee's ranked, but it's just in terms of like most numbers and most power rating systems have them as a top twenty, top fifteen team. That's very impressive for first year with Josh Heupel. And like you said, we thought they were going to be absolute jokes. Yeah. Um, we thought their defense was going to struggle a lot. That's one of the more surprising things is they have a pretty good defense. They lost Jeremy Pruitt, who was supposed to be this defensive mastermind, and got better. The offense is very good. Hendon Hooker, who wasn't very good at Virginia Tech, has turned in. Is there anybody who's proven to be a worse coach over the last six yeah. weeks than Jeremy Pruitt? No, <laughs> nobody. No. I mean, it's just, just poor. I mean, just remember his press conference, how stupid ugh. he sounded. And, yeah, no, and no. no. Over the phone college, call to college the police. football so much better without him in it. No, yeah, he's. Yeah, he, I don't he know. Like? He may, he may have, fat, like, just bullshitted his way to the top. Yeah. He Where really is he? may have. I have no idea. I think he's taking. He's probably just chilling with his buyout money, yeah, which is gotta be the best life in the world. We Did I tell you who I saw? What coach? O? We knew he was a bad coach. Uh, did I tell you who I saw? No. Oh. I was eating at RP Prime. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. told us. And, you texted us right you away. I told you guys, but I never Oops. said it on the show. Oh. Stoops. I was eating. I was eating in Mawa, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. when me and my wife were out to a nice steak dinner, and yes. I look over, and it's a Friday night. I'm actually watching. Wake Forest plays somebody. I'm, I'm watching Virginia. a game on my phone, and I, I look over and uh, I say, "Is that Bo Pelini?" <laughs> and I, I texted, I texted the group. I, took yeah. a, I snuck a picture, you and did, the and first the time I, was, I took a picture, it with was the good. Flash on, the right? second the picture, flash on you the second dumbass. time I took a picture, the flash went off, and I was like, "Oh fucking!" I panicked. And then I, I sent you guys, and I said, "Is that Bo Pelini?" And you guys were non-committal, so then I was like, uh, "I sent it to Big Cat. Is this Bo Pelini?" He said, "Yes." Tell him, tell him, tell him what's up. And the Big Cat says, "Hello." I didn't. But I just – Bo Pelini was just out enjoying his buyout money. Did they notice that you uh, took a photo of me? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's so embarrassing. And he was with another guy that had that coach look yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. But I, I never could get a good look at him. 
But it was. That's I wonder tough. why he was in New Jersey. Maybe just for whatever. I don't One know. One time, I, w- I was in the DFW airport and I saw Les Miles, but I couldn't put it together who it was because it was just yeah. like out of context. And I was just staring at him and he was staring at me and I didn't realize it until later. And I was like, oh, fuck. Could you just know those coaches? They have those looks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I. That's what took it. Like, why is Bo Pelini at the steakhouse in northern New Jersey? And he just, he was. We just were, hanging out. We just eating together. Um, all right. So, you got your surprise team off? Notice, yep. Nobody said Kentucky. Nobody said Wake Forest. Two oh, teams that we, I had before the season. I think we talked about Kentucky being good. Hmm. I did. Yeah, you did. Mm. Not we, I. Oh, excuse me. It's on my list. Too. Oh, I, yeah. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. That's, that's me. Katie, nope. nope Katie that, had it, too. Kentucky belongs it too. to me. You no, can't no, have Kentucky. Katie said nope, it Katie really had it. She I didn't think say it before yeah me. no she did yeah yeah I think she did I I'm what with happened Katie about here. not hitting the ball off the tee huh because well, I I had to stand up for my friend you can't be mad about facts can't be mad this is, this yeah, is yeah, not feelings fa- don't just care about facts. Facts. right about Wake Forest I was we'll Mr Kentucky that. the whole time They're I remember when we were doing surprise teams she was like Kentucky and then you were like ah you took that from me so you did have it but she took it before you we have the graphic don't we yeah don't worry about graphics okay who's been the biggest disappointment of yeah, well, just relax, Katie. You will let her I'm go first. Relaxed. You know, because it's interesting. She she brought in this book for the Big T thing and it, the Pick Six previews, and I noticed here that uh, North Carolina was picked to make the college football playoff in this p- yeah. 2021 season preview. Oh, you know what else? They didn't, didn't he have pick, Washington too? No, that that's no. Phil Steele. He didn't. Uh, he didn't have Alabama. Oklahoma, Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio State. He might go. He may go three, three, four, three for four. Yeah. yeah, but I just. Katie was about to go off on the disappointment, so I just figured I would use a, a prop. Did you need that to make t- – we all know that she, <laughs> it's been disappointing. Go ahead, Katie. No, I mean – Talk about your remarkably disappointing team. <laughs> <laughs> mm, at least we're not going to get our Did- by Alabama next week. Damn. But as I was saying, UNC. It, I don't, it, Did you eat styrofoam on Saturday night? Um, luckily, no, because I was um, driving. By the way, I, I, I met Mr. Pondicio. I know I didn't. I know I I told I said my dad. You were in the, the bus and you wouldn't come out and meet him. Uh, no, she I, didn't. I was got sidetracked. I forgot. I didn't answer. know he was there That's at the time. That's unbelievable, Casey. That's unbelievable that you wouldn't do that. I came out multiple times. No, he went out once. Me and him had a catch. No, it was didn't. it was fun. With what, like a football? You didn't yeah. have a catch. No, I did not. You did not. Liar. Almost certain he threw the ball to me once. I, I came you, out. You you had a play catch with like other. Also, I've never people. said ha- have a catch before. That felt weird coming I out of my mouth. Play catch. I don't play know why catch. I said have a catch. It's that field of dreams thing. No, um, UNC just I don't know. Fair. That's a fair thing. It's been bad. Now question. Mm-hmm. Is the whole Mac Brown experience overrated? No. Like, is this, no. Yeah. I mean, it's a fair question. Like he's recruited to this point, and now and now they fall apart. My thing is he like, can't beat Florida State. That's for damn sure. Yeah. I don't know where we're going wrong. Like, that's – the offense line, like, that's – Like, now you're going to lose the best quarterback you will ever have, and how's it going to get better? Well, way to kick her when she's down. Yeah, Shit. Good, good. No, I don't know. Like, I, mean, I, I like the guys we have, Jacoby Criswell and Drake May, behind him. Obviously, he's going to be younger guys. God, Jake May's a great quarterback name. <laughs> he got him over Alabama. He's huh? also Luke May's little brother. Jake May's a great quarterback. It is a good one. Jacoby Criswell, terrible quarterback name. I like that a lot. No, nah, that's a bad quarterback. Drake May is Drake. Look, D R A. Wait, say it. D R A K. Jake May or Drake May? Drake. D R A K. What are you saying? What are you Drake. Sa- Drake. Drake. Jake May. Oh my God. Are you saying with a with, Honestly, is it two J's? D R. Like he's pen. a doctor. He's in medical school. Pen. Oh Jake May. Doctor Jake May. Doctor Jake May is your quarterback. Like that's a pen. fantastic name. God. P A N M. Can't believe it. It's That's a, a great hell of a name. name. Pam. Dr. Jake May. Who's been the most disappointing team, Casey? And you can't say your team because you just beat Alabama. I'm not you, saying my you team. You were going to. No, I wasn't. Before before last week, you would have. If I had had this topic last week, who would it have been? Who who does that say right there? I know, but if I had it last week, who would it have been? I don't know. That's in, that's in the past. I'm not talking about old shit. Uh, Clemson. The Clemson Tigers would be my choice. Um, simply because, I, A, I had them in the playoff. B, I did not think that they would go from the team they were with Trevor Lawrence to being absolutely, which I love using this word this year, putrid on offense. DJ looks like shit. Dabo, I, I, he's just absolutely delusional at this point. They, I mean, their fall from grace is is something. I, and, and, and it's not like LSU where LSU had the one really, really good season, the best season in college football history, and then they were abysmal. Like, Clemson's been a dynasty for a little bit. And we were like, oh, are they – did they end Alabama's dynasty? And, boy, do they stink this year. 
I think their demise is being a little exaggerated. Let's just see what happens with the second half team. For the first half, I'll give them to you. But uh, DJ has rule three out. touchdowns and three interceptions, I, I believe. I wouldn't rule out. Can uh, you check that for I me? I wouldn't rule out a bounce Jack? back, that's all, with them. I'm not, but, but, but so far, you're good. That's fine. My disappointing you, you team. You said mid-season awards. I don't have LSU as my disappointing team because I told you, assholes, you corn dog eating motherfuckers, that you weren't going to be very corn good. Corn dogs are good as fuck. I love them. But I, I told you, so I can't have them. I thought about UCLA because UCLA won a big game early and then just kind of just eh, they didn't, covered didn't last follow week, up on it. But I got to go with the Miami Hurricanes. That's a good one. Because De'Aaron King, I thought when they got him a couple years ago, he would do something in Miami. He never did a fucking thing at Miami. Mm-hmm. Never did anything interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, Manny Diaz just, listen – He's just not he's just not the guy. They're going to have to move on, and they are so average in every sense of the word. There's nothing exciting. I look at the Miami jerseys and the helmets. There has to be exciting skill players. There has to be, like, a level of athleticism that sets it apart, and it's just not there. Miami has just been so disappointing to me. Where would you put Manny Diaz on the hot seat coaches list right uh, now? Top three? Oh, mm. See, I, I put him at four. So, I'd say him, uh, Orgeron, who's, who's ahead of him? Scott Frost. No, I think Scott Frost is. Kinda, I mean, he's zero and ten versus ranked opponents. I think opponents. he's kind of off. I he, think. I think they're not. I mean, it's not going great, but I think they're close. I've I think Nebraska's close. Serious rumors about him. Oh, I, I've, we've all heard those rumors. Yeah. Mike off Norvell. The field. Mike Norvell's kind of working his way off too. He well, he's also kind of saved by the Willie Taggart buyout. He's won two games in a row as well. So. Yeah. Um, You're right. about the three and three. Jack, who's your three most disappointing three, right? team? Yeah, it stinks. UCF. That's a good one. Gus on tank that team in she the She has in that one too. Time. That was my backup. Oh, she yeah, she has Clemson on there too. That's, that's great. Michigan. Um yeah. But that's his <laughs> starter. Yeah. Um UCF really just like disappointing. I mean, I thought not that they were better than Cincinnati, but they could be the second best team in the AAC and they're not. And losing well, they were to Louisville also, and Navy Cincinnati like, needed them to be pretty good. Yeah. But yeah. they do have Houston and SMU. Yeah. That's true. But I mean, it but this would game, help if they were good. This game this weekend, you know how exciting it would be if UCF was I agree with the you. shit. But it's still – I mean, it's still a big game. The quarterback big game. also got hurt. Yeah, but, it fell off. but still they lost to it Navy. Is, it is – it's still a big game for Cincinnati, kind of. But and since they have Joey Gatewood, and Jake, Joey Gatewood's like a good running quarterback, why isn't he – Joey Gatewood stinks. <laughs> but as a running back, like I thought he was very good running-wise. Remember when he left Kentucky? Yeah. It was I still even – I think Joey Gatewood's one of the more – just such a disappointing I recruit. thought he was going to be so good in college. Yeah. I did too. Um, okay. He's been to, what, three stops now, and he stunk at every one. If you had to give the Heisman Trophy away right now, jeez, who do you give the Heisman Trophy to? Start with Jack first. He hasn't gone first yet. Jack. I don't know. I, I. <sighs> Thank God I started with Jack. <laughs> um, yeah. I, Kenny Pickett. There you go. I don't hate it. Does. Casey, K, uh, K, stats. This one. Uh, probably Kenneth Walker the third. That's a good one. I just took his, didn't I? <laughs> He's giving me a look. Okay, fine. Aiden Hutchinson. No, no. Uh, I love that too. She can't have I two d- good picks. No, she she, she, she had two have, picks for you disappointing could talk team. About Kenneth Walker. Casey Smith. Bijan Robinson. Kenneth Walker's better number. I'm numbers. shocked. None of you said Matt Corral. I thought Matt Corral's been like the most consistent quarterback so far. Uh, he's he's done his job. It's like a congrats, you did your job. Woohoo. Kenneth Walker does have better numbers in their undefeated. You're right, but B- watching Bijan Robinson is yeah, 215 yards or something. Uh, 216. Yeah. Who Bijan had 216 against TCU. 234, and then he had 267 against uh, against Northwestern. Uh, Kenneth Walker the third is the Heisman winner so far. Not only he has rushed for 913 yards. You know how many other running backs have rushed for 900 yards? Zero. Zero. You know how many running backs have rushed for 800 yards? Zero. Zero. He's, he's leading the uh, by average he's per game by like 30. Far and away the best running back so far. And he's one of the biggest stories on one of the biggest stories of the year. So I think Kenneth Walker the third is the Heisman Trophy winner as are far we, as – So we are allowed to double up? I didn't double up. You just said the same answer she gave. Well, I took it. She changed it. No, she didn't. Uh, I'll change mine to Aiden Hutchinson and I'll give him Kenneth You Walker. already said that. Yeah, I'm repeating it so she can. Don't change it. Don't why, why, why is it she? Why, she's in the room. You couldn't have heard that? I heard it, but you shouldn't change it just for his sake. Oh, yeah, we can double up. We can both have the same I one. mean, that's the that's the easiest one. Okay, I have a question for you. If you had to take a quarterback right now, would you take Matt Corral? Yeah. I would take Bryce Young. But I think I would take Matt Corral now, but it's not going to last. He's going to implode at some point. I want to uh, – Caleb uh, – what's his name? It's Oklahoma. Caleb Williams? Yeah. Caleb Williams. At least they want to see. It's been a I, got a, I got a wild one. That would be a story. Can you win the Heisman after only six weeks? That 
<laughs> that applies to JT. What if JT Daniels comes back before Florida and just rips off six straight great but wins? He's he's he already established though. Yeah, he's different than Caleb like that. I know, but but he still hasn't done anything this year. So what what if he came back and he he just won, he just he just beat the shit out of Florida and just put up six huge numbers. Like the Heisman is wide open. There's nobody mm-hmm. that's taken uh, it yet. Desmond Ritter is in the conversation. I don't I, I don't, don't think, think Desmond so. Ritter's the best team guy on his team. Uh, it's who? Fair, it's fair. What's been the best game so did far? Did you ask Jack? Jack started it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Do you, wait, did you come up with an answer, though? He said, I don't know. Yeah, I just said, can you pick oh, it? Right, right. But, like, I mean, I, I don't have, like, it's just whatever. It's fair. Uh, best game, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, Texas A&M versus Alabama in College Station, Texas. It was a great game. It was electric. It was the most watched game. I mean, 13 million people were watching it by the end of the game. That's fucking crazy. And, and... We talked about it. A hundred straight wins against unranked teams, and A and M broke that. Mm-hmm. Pretty impressive. It's a damn shame that it, that wasn't going to be there. A hundred. I mean, what? It, what if? What? If, and I'm just spitballing here. Oh boy. What if they had a losing streak to unranked teams? It would be crazy. Like a two-game losing streak. Like they yeah. go from a hundred games oh, no. in a row yeah. to losing two games mm. in a row. That wow. would be. Doesn't that seem like happen, a sports thing that could happen? It up. That seems like a sports thing that could happen. I'm telling you right now, and it I, could I understand happen. you sports. beat crazy. You beat my team. I feel like you're you're too confident. I'm not confident. I'm just saying. Katie's the the, the look that Katie just Listen, gave I haven't beaten Alabama since 2007, so I have no confidence. I think they're going to come in and beat us. But if A and M can do it, we can damn sure do it. Well, you guys That's beat true. us. Okay, what's your best game of the year? It's Ole Miss Arkansas. It's a fantastic game. Ole Miss Arkansas, fifty two fifty one. I mean, well, the, old Daddy Fat Stacks over there making the wrong decision to go for two. Saturday had three of the best games of the season. Yep. Texas Oklahoma. Texas as well. Oklahoma. Penn State Iowa. Oh, and Alabama A and M. So four. Four. Is that your game of the year? Uh, I I didn't I all, I just wrote down a bunch of the ones that I really liked. I actually didn't pick one. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Do you know what we do here? <laughs> I was waiting until I'd go last, and then I'd pick one of ones that wasn't listed. Jack, who's your game of the year? Oklahoma, Texas. Good, yeah, good that was answer. Wild. That was why. Fantastic. It's answer. crazy that we don't have one from before. What would have been the answer last week? Um, well, the ones I have written down is Notre Dame and Florida State. Yeah, that was great. That was a good one. Yeah. Oregon, Ohio State, Alabama, okay. Florida, Auburn, that was a good Penn game. State. That was okay. Then this is more ACC. Auburn, Penn bias, State was good. But Clemson at NC State. Um, Cincinnati, Notre Dame. Penn State, Wisconsin. Penn State, Wisconsin. Eh, that was boring. But it was that's like a Clemson, be- it was a beautiful boring though. That's why Clemson, Georgia is not on this because like yes, it was like a great defensive powerhouse. But, uh. um, and coach of the year. Who would who's be the going coach first? Who's going first? Let me go first. I haven't gone first okay. yet. Oh, <laughs> I mean go shit. Ahead. Go first then. Jeez. Heart and soul of the fucking podcast. Oh, Can't go Jesus first Christ. once. I think it's Mel Tucker. I think Good it's answer. Mel Tucker. I, I think Mel Tucker is has it's been the coach answer. of the year. I mean, listen, they were dead. They had nothing. That program was was finished, and and they were just rock bottom, and and nothing looked good. And if there's going to be a portal out there where you can go get three players or five players, why not go get 21 players? Why not go get a whole new team? That's what he did. It's crazy. It's wild. It's working, and it's going to happen a lot from now on. Like Guy went and got him a Heisman contender at running back who played at Wake Forest. Guy went and got him everything he needed, and now he's 6-0. I think Mel Tucker, and I don't think this one's even close. Mel Tucker is definitely, I would say, a great, great answer. I think Luke Fickle should be in the conversation. Just, and I know well, that we knew they were going to be good. We knew they were going to be good, but now, like, they are, you know, they're third in the country. They seemingly should win out. I mean, there there's not a team left on the schedule that I think, and because of the way that everything has been this year, I think that if you are a group of five head coach who is always in the running, you know, when the, when jobs come open, like, is he going to take the leap to the power five? But if you are a head coach of a group of five team that makes it to the playoff, you're the coach of the year. But what if he. What, what if they it's don't make the playoffs? It's midseason. He could still be the coach of the year. What if they don't make the playoffs? I, but I think I think they're going to make the playoff if we're being honest right now. I think it's starting to line up against them. How? They're third. It's they're gonna, they're not going to lose. Doesn't the matter game. what they are now. Doesn't matter at all. Because Ohio State, if Ohio State, who's who's behind them, gets wins over Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, and yeah. then Iowa, the Big Ten, will they fuck jump them. them. Yeah, the Big Ten will fuck them. Uh, if Oklahoma, uh, so Georgia, let's say Georgia's already in SEC champs in, right? I think Ohio State jumps them. ACC champ will not be in. No. I didn't say that. I, well, we are saying that. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, uh, no, I'm saying that it won't be. That's not really a, a breaking news. I mean, what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm helping your argument. SEC champs in. Ohio State would jump them. Oklahoma's in the process of jumping them. 
And then Oregon, if Oregon stays with one loss with a win over Ohio State, undefeated Cincy against against Oregon with one loss. Yeah, I, I do agree yeah. with that one. Now, the, a very good chance exists Oregon doesn't get to the end of the season with one loss. Right. No, I and, mean, and UCF, question, UCF's question, question, thinking. Question, 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 question. There, let's go. We're going into uh, – we're going into the last week of the season, okay? okay. All right. Georgia's going to be in. Just say Georgia's in, okay? Okay, they're beating Alabama in the SEC championship. Iowa's number two in the country. So they've just ran through the South, 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 South. Georgia's in. Iowa's number two. Cincinnati's three. Oklahoma's four. Ohio State's five. Ohio State beats Iowa. How much? In what happens? How mu- By how much? Like how good? Is- it depends on the 31, game. 27. I was in. I was in. Think so? I think so too. It's just it's hard because like you just we the committee is and I I, I will never poo poo the committee over the BCS because I much rather human society than a computer. It just really is going to depend on how all of those games shake out because you know like I think if Alabama goes undefeated and and Georgia loses to them by three points, both Alabama and Georgia are going to be in. I so. have a prediction. Oh no. No. Oh. I mean, okay. You know who Iowa is going to lose to? Penn State. Nebraska. The day after Thanksgiving, if 11-0 and Iowa walks into Lincoln, Nebraska, oh. Memorial Stadium, Nebraska has been this close to picking off Michigan State. They should have. They've been this close to picking off Michigan. They should have. And then I Iowa. Penn State. They just beat Penn State. That was a dumb thing to say. What did I say? No, that was me. I oh. fucked up. And then and if, if Iowa goes in there 11-0 and to, to and Scott Frost needs a signature win and he's this close to getting it, Woo. Do you think that there's any danger of that happening uh, this weekend? Who to who? They, play? who to they? Iowa? they play Purdue. They play Which, Purdue. Yeah, and they're, they're, the spread's going down, too. I think yeah. they were 14-point favorites. Now it's down to 12. It's no, like, I don't think Purdue can I beat mean, them. I Purdue's, mean, Purdue's not good, but it's I think still... Iowa's going to be in a close game every week because they don't have offense. Yeah. And Purdue does have a good quarterback. He'll probably throw a couple of picks, and that'll be lights out. But, what, but yeah. At 3.30 at Kinnick. I don't know. Like, when I was looking at it, I was like, ah, Purdue's not very good, but... Iowa is on a cloud nine. You know, they just, like we said, they just beat Penn State. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's look forward to this weekend. Wait, though. they didn't give let's their coaches. Oh, did you not? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, it would stink for me to just give. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll just say it. I think Jim Harbaugh is I the coach like of the it, year Jack. so far. I was going to say, I, you could probably just say Josh Heupel, but I already said just to not – make my list the same with surprising and coach of the year. I think Jim Harbaugh, I mean, I, he was a meme coming into the season. He still has a lot to prove though. It's mid team midweek. Like he could, he yeah. could really turn around. Also, I mean, yeah. Fuck. Oh, by the way, I was talking to the, we have a pretty big Notre Dame fan up. Oh, two things. Oh, just <laughs> random notes of college football that Drop our em. audience Drop will. Em. Yes. Last time we were watching the Monday night football game here and I just tweeted out as a joke. LSU head coach John Gruden, mm-hmm. and then Playboy Marty, who is Mincy's producer, and then also he's graduated from LSU, heard it, didn't know I was joking, got up and said, "I like that," and was like, "We're gonna get I John Gruden." Really feel like so, you can hire so John Gruden um, right now. morally bankrupt institution, another one. Yep, and then we have a massive Notre Dame fan upstairs, Nick Mulcahy. He, he wants Brian Kelly fired. That's insanity. I know. I know. I just. Just so everyone knows, we have insanity down south and up north. Brian so. Kelly's been one of the top five I know. coaches in the country. I know, I know. That's fires. what I – when he was like, I need him to go. That's what he, he said. He's still one guy. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, okay. Before Katie. we get before we get to Katie's, speaking of Notre Dame fans. Shane Gillis. He he said he would come on the podcast. I know, but you, did you text him again? Has he talked about me at all? No, he hasn't. Well, have, have you texted him to say I'm still interested? No, I'll do it today. You want me to do it right now? Do you want me to do it right now? I mean, this is Shane, Shane Gillis. Fucking Sass went out the other night and hung out with Shane Gillis. Little Sass, he's 19 fucking years old. Kind of a I'm superstar. You can hang out with Shane Gillis. He loves Barstool. I'm Brandon Walker. Him. I'm Brandon Walker. I should be hanging out with Shane Gillis whenever I want to. You know, I just want him to sit in Katie's chair. Katie can sit in my chair. Whatever. I want, I want, I want him to come talk Notre Dame football. I want, I want to talk football with him. He's so funny. Okay. I watched a skit the other day when he talked about. I know you did. God, he's so he's. If you haven't watched his YouTube, watch his YouTube. It's got an Alabama fan. Biggest Shane Gillis fan on the planet. Katie, who's your coach of the year? I love Shane Gillis. I know you do. He's funny. Unlike you. Oh, shit. 
Why? Whoa, that's not true. I think yeah, I he's know. funny. No, I do. I, she just needed to throw some shade. Yeah, no. I, I definitely I, disagree with You know what? what? I will get Shane Gillis sitting in this podcast room if you can get Machine Gun Kelly sitting in this podcast room. Uh, but I, I can't mean, do that. That's, that's fair. fucked up. That's uncalled for. <laughs> that's not for. right. That's uncalled for. Okay, fine. That was. That I can was get good. a professional wrestler, perhaps. Oh. Yeah, Roman Reigns, maybe. He's that, hot. That would be awesome. He, is played, he, married? he played at Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. Tech. Or married? maybe Biggie. He is married. He's eh, a kid. Out. But he, no, no, he, he's a cancer survivor as well. He beat cancer. Yeah, but I, I okay. don't, I, I, I mean, that's great. Yeah. But that wouldn't be my number I, one. I thought you guys could connect over that. single wrestler? No, I didn't say a wrestler. That's all I can get you as a wrestler. Uh, let Katie talk about her coach. I'll think about it. Um, I agree with Mel Tucker, and I'll also put in Sam Pittman. Okay, yeah. No, no, yeah. He did he's not He's lost like twice. By the way, you said uh, Sam Pittman 7-9 and nine over, so it was Mike Lee. Um. <laughs> Are there? But I know, I know, I know. I know, Everybody's I know, acting I know. like. I know, I know. I just thought it was funny. I thought it was Everybody's funny. Everybody's acting like yes, Sam Pittman's doing a great fair. job. That's and, fair. Yeah. Are mean, there are there hot single wrestlers? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. There's uh, no. Sh- it's one of the hottest professions out there. Oh, they're all pr- they're all big though. They're like you would have. They're all big. They're dramatic. I'm dramatic. Fair th- point. There are ho- yeah, they're hot single wrestlers. The only thing is, if you were to date them, it's. Because they're on the road together to all myself, the time. Well, I'm about telling myself by saying which wrestlers I think are hot. I mean, he's hot. <laughs> yes, he is. He's very hot. Who is it? I'm Finn Balor. Finn Balor's beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's, he's yeah. and he's what? Irish or Scottish? Yeah, yeah he's Irish. How old is he? Uh, Thirty-three. Born Eighty-one. 34? Oh, he's older than I thought. Oh, 81. oh 81. Wow. Wow. He's Forty years old. I'm okay with that. Mm. He's 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 single. Who else is who else is hot? Uh, Adam Cole's hot. Eh, I mean, I, I disagree. Okay. I mean, my personal favorite of Sorry, all time is, is not, Randy Orton. This is weird. Looking like the guy from Star Wars. Yeah, oh, no, that's, but that's, that's his character. Come in here like you that. wouldn't say that about like Leo if he was dressed up in something. That's true. Also, Katie, you're talking to somebody who loves Machine Gun Kelly. I'm yeah. into weird. <laughs> Fair enough. That's facts. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, we're going to the. You have a show to do. So we need to run through. Just I, just, I disagree with Finn. Bell. See, I'm not a I'm not a long hair guy unless it's Tim Riggins. Machine Kelly, but come by Aunt Belly. No, 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 no. He has. I mean, he. You, this is his extensions. Machine Gun Kelly's hey, hair is. A guy should not have extensions. He's hot. He just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Adam Cole. Yeah. Yeah, hot. Yeah. He's he very is hot. a little bit shorter, but he's hot. Yeah. It's yeah. a hot girlfriend too. No, I. I listen. We'll talk about it. You don't want me to get any hot guys in here? No, I do. Of course, I do. Although I oh, well, sorry. you got two minute, Shane, every every Tuesday and Saturday night. You got two Shane, hot guys in here. Shane Gillis isn't yeah. hot. Yeah, but yeah, you want to fuck him. I don't want to fuck him. I just want to hang out with him. I've never Brandon heard like stuff up his butt. Katie, who's your coach? Uh, Sam Pittman. She That's said awful. Already. That's awful. Okay, Nobody mentioned hey. Mark Stoops or or, 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 or not Dave Dorn. Um, Clawson. Clawson's great. Clawson's a good one. Mm. Mark and can t- Let's, uh, the Let's look at the schedule and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, All I right. really really need to pee. This is not a great week. Although no, it's not, but that it, means with, it's chaos. With these, with these teams like Michigan State, this is kind of a tra- This is kind of a rat line right yeah, here. Four and a half is so radish. Yeah, because Indiana, they got a backup quarterback, which probably improves them. Hey, like the video. I'm looking at you right now. You haven't liked the video. You're a loser. Oh, yeah. like it. The now you're don't a winner. Add up. There's 400 people yeah. watching, and we got 17 likes. That doesn't add up. Like the fucking video. If you like the video. Like the video. I love Texas to bounce back against Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is just sitting there, number twelve. They're five and zero. I don't but hate that either. Nobody believes in them. I do. I've been the biggest Oklahoma State believer. This is a big game for me this week. Why didn't you mention them in one of these things? He's because I wasn't State surprised forever. by them. He's been talking about. I'm Oklahoma also. State. I'm more disappointed in them to be honest. I think they'd be cruising at this point. But this game's going to be they a big one if they right? win this one. Yeah, look out. Oh boy, you could have a massive game. On Bedlam. On Bedlam, which is the last game of the year this I year. If they do if they Bedlam. do win this one. Can I say I think that Big Twelve rivalries, like as a whole, are always just really exciting because you know there's gonna be a gazillion points. Yeah, but they're going away. You no, know what I look- you know what I realized? Texas and Texas A&M have to play now. Yeah. Hell we yeah. never talked about that. Yeah. That's what one of the mean? biggest yes, things. We did. No, I felt like when we talked about it, it was just more like, oh, they're going to the SEC. It wasn't I'm like, so oh, Texas and Texas A&M problems. have to play now. That'll be awesome, though. Be great. I thought about that this week for whatever reason. That'll be awesome. Um, Arkansas beat Auburn. If you're a Kentucky fan and you see the line come out and you're like the most excited you've been about your team ever and it's a 22-and-a-half point, see, you just got to be like, ah. Here's the thing. You know what? Kentucky. It's almost basketball season. Damn. I've been here before where my team starts 8-0 and and then we're playing Alabama and then you talk about you talk yourself into it. Like Kentucky fans are talking themselves into either having a chance or at least not getting embarrassed. 
But listen, Florida was a good win. LSU, okay. But this is a different animal. And they're going to talk themselves into uh, – by Friday, Kentucky fans going to say, you know, we got a chance to go down there and win. Mm-hmm. we got a chance to stay in this game. And it's going to be 37-3 mm-hmm. in the third quarter. And they're going to be wondering, what, what happened? Are we that bad? Um, but you're not. You're just running up against a monster right now. And Kentucky – I think is a top 10 team in this country, but you're not in the same class as Georgia because nobody else is either. Alabama minus 17 and a half against Mississippi State. I mean, we're coming in inside that number. I feel good about that. That's I'm really excited about that game. That's more because of you because I'm just like I I don't think I'd be that I excited. I deserve the win over Alabama more. And I want you, you to get the win. Yeah. Uh, However, I, I, I want you to get the win too. I was so supportive of you when you got that win. You were. Yes. And I want you to get that win too. I was, text, may, I was texting you topless pictures of myself. You were? Was that you? Who was that? Yeah, so it was unfortunate. Sorry, that was I, I ignored it because, because I thought you – it was better. just better. Like, you know what? Right. It, it wasn't meant for me. I'm not even going to talk <laughs> about I, it. Um, I want you guys to win because it makes it – the loss you guys look better for us. Ole Miss to Tennessee. I'm going to take Ole Miss. Oh, that game's also – This I is think also ratty. I mean – I was surprised how low it was. Yeah, I, I think Tennessee's going to win the game. Tennessee can score, and Ole Miss's defense is garbage. Yeah, but I like Matt Corral. Yeah, but he can score 40 and lose. Yeah, that total is ridiculous. Oh, I'll have to ask Mintz tomorrow if this is the highest total eight, in the SEC ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 82 and Allegedly. A no. um, 82 why did we, going up? Why did we skip my game? I didn't even see it. Because it's Texas that's a, and Also, that's a yeah. weird game. Who gives yeah. a shit? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, a very, that's a trappy spot for you guys. Yeah, it is. Because you still got a backup quarterback who's, who's got one good yes. game under his belt. Oh, I kind of love Missouri in no, this spot. No, no, don't you do it. kind of love Missouri in this spot. Don't you do it. Just to Doesn't win it make or sense to cover? To, to win. Oh. Doesn't make sense going on the road. I can't, I, can't, I can't do this. I can't let myself do this again. I can't. Move past it. I can't do You're it. You're the one that brought it up. I know. I wish I would Yeah, wanted. we would have just went I, through. We I, were moving I, on. I regret it. So the that sneaky, TCU Oklahoma game, huh? The sneaky biggest game It might be NC State Boston College. Like somebody's got to win the a- a- ACC, somebody's got to win it. I see. Legally, I think, somebody has to win it. Somebody has to win it. Yes, that is a Legally. sneaky big game. I think TCU OU is still sneaky. I think TCU's, uh, TCU's TCU TCU's not be- good, but Oklahoma keeps showing that they're vulnerable. And I understand Caleb Williams is playing now. I, we but think. if they come out and they score, they go, they win fifty six seven or fifty six fourteen. The Caleb Williams hype train is going to be out of control. Do we know for sure if he's starting? I, I, I don't know. I don't care what Lincoln Riley says. I don't care what any Oklahoma beat writer says. He is starting. I will report that right now. Okay. If you, That's a big report. If via you Brandon don't Walker. start that guy, then you're not Jack, serious about college Jack, football. put that on Twitter via Unnecessary Roughness. Brandon Walker reports it. You absolutely can do that. All right. Yeah. Uh, Brandon <laughs> also, Walker reports. We also don't even know if Max Dugan is starting for TCU. They're I, actually, this is, a, this is a classic example of, uh, of, of a joke tweet. And then when, when it works, when it works, I'm going to absolutely be saying, whoa, whoa, whoa I yeah, said yeah. this on Wednesday. Per, per at Brandon Walker, SEC. It's going to get Caleb Oklahoma w- Twitter, too. Like, yes. they're going to be like, oh, that's it. Caleb yeah. Williams will, will be the starting quarterback against Versus TCU. TCU. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then at, obviously, oh, you're going to be tweeting it from us. Yeah, reference. you don't have to at yourself. No, anyway. per, per Brandon Walker. Per Brandon, yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. People will hate that. This is a, a slate. No, they'll, they'll, no, think they'll it's love real. it. They'll love it. This is a slate that looks kind of underwhelming this week. It's, that means it's going to be chaos, and It's going to be. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm it's rooting for be. you, Brandon. Okay. I, I really am. Thanks. I don't You're need welcome. you to root for me. I don't care what you do. You know, what? I will. I, I also. My mom asked me today, like, what my Thanksgiving plans were, because I can. I never go home for Thanksgiving because we always have games, and I realized that the Egg Bowl stream this year. Uh, on Thanksgiving Day, which it, there will be a stream, uh, we should get matching shirts. What's the, what are they gonna say? I don't know. We need to think about it. We're gonna have the. We'll have a stream that day. Right? Oh, for sure. All right. Sure, yeah. All right. I just have to tell my mom. <laughs> Wait, that Thanksgiving Day or day after Thanksgiving Day? Well, it'll be at night. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I eat dinner at eleven thirty, so. Yeah, you're that's fucking weird. Really. So good. I love that game being on Thanksgiving. I know you don't. I love it. Christmas is two months away. I don't want to talk about it. My wife's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Aww. Mrs. Walker. What are you getting her? Huh? What are you getting I asked him that. Guess what he said? Dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need to, to pee. All right. Um, okay. Casey's got to pee. I think we covered everything anyway. That's unnecessary roughness.